Hello everyone, welcome to just a quick video on uh, this massive thing. Um, this is a Gent 4199 uh, Firebell, conventional obviously, and uh, it's in need of a bit of work as you can see because uh, this text, it's very raised text and the logo above, these need um, just a bit of paint on the top with like a sponge uh, with like a sponge brush or something like that and uh, yeah it just needs a bit of a touch up because you can see it's it's quite an old bell so it's, uh, it's had some wear and tear and also I'm thinking of before painting this logo masking it off and just spraying the actual disc black because there's some weird these are like scuff marks here and they make and they've got this like white stuck in there and I have scrubbed this I've cleaned this entire thing and actually put a bit of furniture polish on it to try and make it shine and uh, that's worked for the gong the gong just has a bit of paint scratching and I was gonna I well I'm, I don't know it yet but I might might just leave it or I might uh, might strip it and repaint it but we'll see that's a costly process um, but anyway it's got this white stuff like paint or something stuck in here and I've tried cleaning it off and it won't uh, it won't work and I haven't got any of those magic whatever they're called things to clean it off with so my best plan of action is to just respray this to sort of cover over it with with spray paint and then after that because I will have masked this off so I can't get any paint running in the uh, in the logo because that would ruin it but I can paint over that with black uh, because after that I'm just going to put the top coat of red back on uh, and it'll look brand new again hopefully that's the plan uh, so yeah, we're actually going to give you a little bit of a look at this bell. So it's a really good design actually Because it's quite tamper proof and for anyone who isn't uh, aware of how these are like, opened They'd have a hard time getting into this I reckon so good tamper proofing But the, how you do get into this is you just get a fingernail underneath Underneath this plate here and you pull it off And as you can see turn it around wait yeah that is He's turning around 4199 version 2 because they they had these bells for a while these uh plates would the only difference was i think these plates were just uh, a different molding back then they would have had like gent and it wouldn't have had this circle piece i think it had like the old gent logo on a little raised pit of plastic there but these are the slightly newer models they say yeah uh, they have the sort of 90s Gent logo and then there is an even newer model that has just Gent written on it, it doesn't have this old logo and then there is an even newer newer model um, which I think they still make but Gent doesn't produce it I think it's fully and that has the rights to it or whatever uh, and it's they've changed they changed a few things on that but I can't talk about it because I haven't got one so I don't quite know what's changed, but all I can tell you is that on that one, the plate is grey. So uh, I'm going to pause the video, and by the way, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do when I pause the video. I'm going to twist this. So I've successfully twisted it off. And yeah, that, that's exposed the uh, innards. So, as you can see. Now this wire, I think it's original, because... It's got this weird thing on the end. I have no idea how you'd use that. Please leave a comment if you have any idea how how that was connected. Um, I don't know, perhaps there was a thing that that plugs into because it looks like a plug, but I have no idea. But yeah, this is 24 volt by the way, as you can see, and this has got a date code on it. So 1993, early 90s model this. Uh, so yeah, you can just see it's regular wiring and stuff. But like, I don't get why they got this, because you, you can just connect your wires into there, so I have no idea why that's there. Maybe because it's a bit tight with the, if you were wiring an FP, it might be a bit tight around there, and you don't want it touching the bottom of this exposed circuit board, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so this is the solenoid assembly. Now, it's just held in with these clips, and you do have to take it out to install it, so you just kind of unclip it, pull it up. And then that's the striker there, hits the gong. And uh, yeah, it's a nice unit, so I'm going to put it back together now and give you a 19 volt test. Uh, and it, <laughs> this thing's loud, so prepare yourselves.
Fuck me, that's loud. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you uh, in the next video, which hopefully I'll have this thing restored and on the system uh, for a nice 24-volt test. That'll be even louder and even more exciting for you lot. But yeah, see you, see you next time. Thank you.